Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how in QGIS, and uh, this is QGIS 1, um, 3.2, um, I'm going to show you how to use the raster calculator. Uh, I've previously shown this in uh, map info. I'm going to do uh, exactly the same thing, exactly the same variables, etc. And create basically the exact same raster. So I've got this um, sizable SRTM uh, across Austria. And underneath you can see our color um, uh, Orbis uh, raster backdrop, which comes from our, our own tile server. Um, just to give it some spatial context. So what, 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 what I want to do is pick out from this raster uh, layer, if I just go to the settings, a, a particular cells of that lie within cell values that lie within a specific uh, couple of variables, and then uh, create a new TIFF out of that. So um, it's uh, just a, a, a normal TIFF there, GeoTIFF, and um, I'm going to um, create a new one. So in the processing toolbox is raster calculator. And the, the, the way this works, all, all this is um, worth a read here. It just tells you all the answers, really, and all, all you need to know. And the, the key thing is that uh, I've just got one band in these layers, so that's what I'm referencing. That's my uh, key part of the condition. So uh, I'm not going to use the clip one; that's a smaller one. I'm going to use the main uh, full SRTM 3903. And what I'm going to do is pick out the uh, values that are greater than sim sim o. This is elevation data, and from there, which are less than 1015, which is exactly the the, the, the same uh, condition that I put into map info. And, um, uh, and and the same variables. The um, and and this is elevation information. So the, these are um, from the SRTM uh, values. The what you I, ideally you would choose a reference layer here to make sure everything's configured. So this would this would, as it says here you see it, it, it automatically generates extent, it sets the cell size and the CRS. So you're in. I'm in four three uh, two six here, so it it automatically does all that for you. So um, and sets it from that input file. So so do do so reference it is uh, uh, better. And then uh, I'll just put a, um, a file name output um, two dot tiff for example. Um, just any old uh, file name there, and just run in background uh, and set it off. So it's finished the process. I can drag the, the calculator off the screen for the moment, and here you see. So, so uh, the naught is where the uh, cell values sort of failed to meet uh, to be within that range that I set, and the uh, ones uh, are they're in Y. But it does just drop this black um, fill there, which effectively is no data. Certainly, not I'm not interested in. So in transparency. You can the, the um, you can set an additional no data value, which is just the zero. It's the black. I'm not interested in that stuff. Press apply, and there you go. And now I have just those uh, raster cells, those cell cell values that lie within that range. I'll turn off the one underneath, and there you have it. So the this is the new raster, the new GeoTIFF that um, around Innsbruck there. Um, that uh, where those values uh, fall within that 770 and 1015, it's elevation data, it's, it's the low uh, range of cell values. Uh, so you can see it's all sort of down the slope and in the um, getting into the valleys and stuff uh, as it's not the high elevation data. And that is a quick introduction to the raster calculator in QGIS open source. I hope that's useful. Thank you.